In order for you to have and build on a website, you're going to need at least two things. You're going to need web hosting and you'll need a domain name. Now the domain name can be the trickiest of these two because it requires you to do a little research and even after you do the research to figure out what you want for your domain name, it may no longer be available. Like fingerprints, there are no two domain names exactly alike. So if someone else bought the name you wanted, you're just out of luck. Of course, you could try and purchase the domain name from the current owner, but that really works out in your favor without costing you an arm and a leg. For me, though, I try for a domain name that was very close to the original one that I wanted. For example, if I wanted applerecipe.com and it was already taken, which by the way it is, then I'd try, say, best or the best applerecipe.com or even throw on a suffix, maybe apple recipe winners or specific type of apple recipe like crab apple recipe. Again, use your imagination there. As a matter of fact, that's what we're going to be doing now is checking into some tools that will help us with locating the perfect domain for our website. The first tool, and by the way, these are by all means not all the tools available out there. These are just some that I've had some personal experience with. And something else too, even though some of these tools may offer the option of purchasing the domain name right there from their site, hold off on that. I've got some additional tools for you later on in this video for purchasing the domain names. But the first one is psychicwhois.com. Just type in the name that you're wanting and as you're typing it will give you some suggestions as well as when you're done typing it'll tell you if the one you wanted is already taken or not. For example, Apple Recipe, as you can see here, the red guys, you got it. That means they're already gone. AppleRecipe.com, .net, .org, and .us are already taken. But you've got some additional options here that Psychic Who Is tells you is or is not already available. And by the way, unless you think otherwise, I would suggest sticking with just the .com for your domain names because that's the most popular right now anyway. And they're looking at adding additional extensions as time rolls on. So there's going to be some pretty funky ones out there like .money and there's a lot more that are in the works. So for the time being though, .com is the most popular and that's one that I would be looking for. So that's Psychic Who Is, and you'll find that a lot of these tools are pretty much the same. Now, Bust a Name is a little more extensive. You can put in some keywords here, and it will do a lot of the research for you. And without spending a whole lot of time on this site, I'm just going to point you over to their video tutorials. And I would definitely check out Bust a Name, bookmark it, and use it. A cool tool is DomainsBot. Dot com. Like with Psychic Who Is, you just type in the name here and it'll start spitting out some suggestions. But they've got some additional tools over here on the left that'll help you out even further too. Synonyms, prefixes, suffixes, I mean all kinds of cool stuff. And you can see right here what is and what is not available. Domain Typer is another fun one. You can find that at DomainTyper.com. It'll also spit out some of those funky extensions I was talking about earlier, like AppleRecipe.pi. Again, I would stay away from these. I would simply stick with the .coms for, for the time being. And these big bright red boxes, guess what? That means that particular extension is already taken. But if you want to find out more about it, you've got the ability to check out the site, the who is, meaning who owns it currently and possibly th throw them a line and see if they might consider you know working out a deal with you. You can see how popular that current site is. That might give you an idea as to how much money they're going to be wanting for it if it's really popular and so on. And another one here is Moniker. That's at Moniker.com. It too has a whole lot of tools working with it. So add this to your bookmarks as well. Another great tool is Noam.com because one thing you should be looking at is brand recognition for your website. One of the most powerful ways to brand yourself or website is through social media. Plus, once you've established a connection or created an account on the social media sites that will complement your website and services, then you stand a greater chance of tapping into all that free traffic from these sites as well as the search engine loving backlinks from these social sites to your website. Win, win, win. Noam.com is a site that can help establish a brand continuity with over 600 different social media sites. Once you've signed up for your free account, you can then check if your username is being used on any of the 600 social media sites that Noam.com monitors. This way, you'll have a better idea if one of the domain names you're wanting has already been used in a lot of these social media sites. Now you can make a more informed choice as to which domains to go with or to kick off your list. And then we have plenty of tutorials online here as far as how to go about establishing these connections. So by all means, 
check out noam.com. Now, as far as the actual purchasing of your domain name, my first suggestion would be name silo, mainly because of the price. It's not feature rich, but it is definitely fantastic as far as the price. It's one of the best ones you're going to find out there. There's no hidden fees, and it's $8.99 a year, and that's it. You can even get some discounts on there as well. But if you, for example, were to purchase your domain name from GoDaddy whenever they've got one of their sales going on, and you can get a, a .com, because again, you really only want to look for .coms. There may be reasons for you to look for other extensions, but I'm suggesting .com. But if you get a .com for, say, $0.99 cents for the first year, Go ahead and purchase it through GoDaddy or you know whatever. And then after, say, 60 days or so, go ahead and transfer it over to a name silo.com. And that way you're just getting an additional year added on to the year that GoDaddy gave you for whatever cost this is. And I at the time of this recording, it's $8.99. So for $8.99 from name silo and the $0.99 cents you purchased it from, again, using this as an example, GoDaddy, you've now got two years paid for on your domain name and it's now located at name silo. Again, it doesn't have a whole lot of features, but if features are what you're looking for and a great price, Namecheap is your company because Namecheap is great. Their prices just went up recently. It's a little over 10 bucks for a year, but they've also got some additional great services that NameSilo does not. For example, free SSL certificates for the first year. After that, they're really inexpensive too. But even then, you may want to hold off on buying a domain name until you check into web hosting because some web hosting companies will offer a free domain name if you purchase a package through them. But web hosting is a video for another day. For the time being though, this is going to bring us to an end on this video on domain names. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.